You ready? Yeah. You got us opening? Sure. <laughs> okay, go. So we were discussing the fineries of toilet paper. Oh, hello, Instant Replay Live <laughs> viewers. What's up? Yeah. Do you prefer um, cottony soft toilet paper that clings to your butt cheeks and gets stuck in there, or do you like just rougher, what is the science of dingleberries? Rougher, rougher sandpaper toilet paper so that you. Well, I mean, it does the job, and it scrapes it off. <laughs> it kind of sounds like sandpaper to me. No, I actually do prefer that kind because I don't, I don't like the cottony toilet paper. It's not, I'm not a fan. I'm not into it. There was a time that Rachel and I we got colored toilet paper. What was that like? Do you remember that, Rachel? No. <laughs> do you remember when we had there? It was like pinks and greens and stuff, and it. I remember it just being That's terrible. What are you talking about? Um, no, I just remember it being really terrible. Like, oh, it, it would do just what I said with the soft, like, cottony toilet paper. It was no good. And we went back to, to good, old-fashioned two-ply with, without all the extras. And it works. Oh, like a rapper. Oh, oh. <laughs> he went right through the wall. He can't do that. That's not fair. It's not even two-ply. We don't even use two ply. Oh man! Man, this is such an insight into our. Oh sweet! All right. Free well, TP. We're this conversation was sparked by the realization that we're down to our last roll, or now apparently couple of rolls of toilet paper. So, uh, little, little insight. Subscribe for more toiletry stories. Oh, it also <laughs> was the dog poop in the floor. That's right. Because we uh, last episode, <laughs> Jake just pooped in the floor in the middle of the episode. Kind of like which, when you pooped the house. Which actually, yeah, that happened in our our arc play with Dawn Whisper, which oh, we still don't know when that's going to air. So I think we should maybe not talk about it, Joe. Uh, it's <laughs> definitely before this. We don't even know. I don't know yeah, what her schedule is. She oh, could be that's right. a we month out or whatever. That's not ours. I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Science. Um, but it does remind me of another Jake story. Tell it. <laughs> this one's awful. Well, I already know it. Do you? I do. Um, and she's your responsibility. Come on. Okay, what? Hang on. People. Hang on. You Rachel, come her back. When she jumped outside. No, come back. <laughs> you can tell that story because I. No, I don't want to. I want to go eat my ice cream. All right. Well, well, Rachel was not telling the same story that she already knows. Um, there was just a time that Jake was running outside and uh, she had the like. Oh, look, a butterfly kind of, you know, like, I'm going to chase it. But she was also pooping at the same time. <laughs> and she leapt in the air, dropped a poop. <laughs> Mid-jump. <laughs> but no, this was, a, this was a grosser story. Where um, Jake is a very, very cuddly dog. <laughs> and, ugh, she was cuddling in the bed with me recently. And I, uh... <laughs> it was like petting down her back and down her tail and I felt something and it was under the covers <laughs> and I was just like she pooped the bed? well she didn't poop the bed she just had a little poop on her tail <laughs> 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 and I was just like she should have been using harder toilet paper <laughs> I just had this moment like I touched it and I was like oh god <laughs> I know what this is, but if I don't pull the cover back, like, I don't have to know, right? Like, I don't have to know, but I also can't lay in bed with it, so I have to get up right now. It was the worst. Jake pooped the bed. Was that before or after we got the comforter cleaned? It, well, it was well after. Uh, Rachel's asking if it was before or after we had our comforter cleaned. <laughs> it was definitely after. Uh, but she didn't get any poop on it. Oh, she was goodness. just... It was on her tail, and that was fine. I, well, it, Rachel, you've got to learn that if we're recording, you can't talk from the other room. But yeah, it was under the covers, but she wasn't touching it, really. Um, so I cleaned her up, and that was the end of that story. <laughs> it, she uh, she gave me a, a dingleberry cuddle, and I wasn't too happy about that. Speaking of doo-doo, I was really tempted <laughs> to get him on doo today. Speaking of doo-doo, go on. I, I was just... I was just like, man, I really want to taste this doo-doo shine now. It's kind of worked on me. <laughs> I, more, more, more because of Nick than anything, repeating doo-doo shine all the do, time. Do you need to, to lead into that a little bit more for people who might not know? Shine is, right? Yeah, but, but people yeah. might not know. Uh, new, new flavor of Mountain Dew, Mountain Doo-Doo Shine. <laughs> yeah. 
Their ads are so ridiculous. It cracks the me one up. I keep hearing is like the two country guys discussing it's my do shine. You know, oh, gotta, I haven't heard that. It's like one. they're like talking about like the moonshine. Yeah, well, that's the whole idea behind yeah. the name. Yeah, but I haven't heard that one. I've only heard the. Um... Oh, oh shit. Joe. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> we knew you Get were it? gonna die there just when you hit the that fun. angle. Um, but yeah, I've only heard the like announcer guy saying Mountain Dew do shine, and he says it so many times so fast that it just runs together into do do shine. I mean, this is definitely not the way to do it, but... What, the jump down there? Yeah. You it's can, totally the way. They wouldn't have this section on the left here if it wasn't... Well, with a little that's religions. just misleading. There's there's reasons in this game to be misled multiple times. Like, for bandages, or just for fun. <laughs> I think I think it's supposed to be there. What do you mean? I mean, I'm sorry. I think you're supposed to be able to jump down just as easily as the other. One is a leap of faith, and you have to hit the perfectly right spot, which is definitely, you know, not as safe. And the other one is... Oh, or you die there. <laughs> the other one is a little more safe, but a lot more difficult. So, I think it just works out. Oh, man. Gotta cut the, the jump a little bit towards the bottom. Yeah, I can probably see the thing before I stop. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <All right>. you, <sighs> you could not and did not. <laughs> Too early. Now I'm overthinking how to. I've been blending this plenty of times, and now I'm just like, oh. oh. Maybe if I jump a little bit earlier. Oh, that actually would work, though. So let me just try. Well, <laughs> you tried. Ugh, right, one out. God. Start. Okay, yeah. I guess it can't hurt to try it once. Wait, this is going to be so much slower because i got to go get the key. Well, yeah. Uh, but at least you're down there. <laughs> Jesus. I can't tell if you did that on purpose I did or not. not. I did not. I can't tell, genuinely. Uh, I guess it's kind of nice of mystery, though, so we'll let it, we'll let it stand in here. All right, here. Got bad aim, at least. It's got. Oh, he's it's got, got bad it zooms aim. Zooms in at one yeah. point that you were already at, so he doesn't like follow you very closely. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh. <laughs> You've oh. got bad aim. <laughs> Just running straight into that maggot wall. Ooh. I was kind of hoping we were gonna get cocoons and a spider boss, though. I'm a little disappointed with maggots. I feel like it fits the meat maggots. That's true. That actually makes more sense than a lot of the other things. Um, but I was I was hoping for spider. I don't know why. I, I, I have no real reason for having a compulsion to want spider. Have you ever played um, Binding of Isaac? No, it's one that I definitely want to play though. It's it's good. It's a hard game, but it's like rewarding enough that I don't mind that it's hard. So I actually enjoy it a lot. And I have the new one, but I haven't really played it that much. Uh, the Rebirth, where they they remade it with new graphics and new old graphics. It's like designed to look pixelated on purpose. Um, and a lot more unlocks and stuff and map randomizations. And I've been uh, wanting to play it again, so. It's definitely on the list of things yeah. that need to be played. To it's, like... it's got a co-op mode, but the co-op mode is almost too detrimental. Yeah. Have you seen it at all? Uh, no, you told me that it was pretty oh, okay. Bad. Yeah, you get this little floaty ghost, like, for the second player. But it takes one of the main player's hearts. And. Oh, God. Uh, oh. One minute, Joe. <laughs> one minute to win it. Yeah. Um, takes the, the main player's hearts, so now you're at a disadvantage for health. And the ghost, like, is really hard to control. It floats around and can still be hurt. So, like, you, you go to, like, stop, but you're still moving with the pass momentum and. You run into an enemy, and then you have to take another one of the player's hearts, and it just seems... I don't know. It, like, I feel like a co-op shouldn't necessarily be easier, but it, it just makes it harder. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of this guy's shtick, too. Like, this guy loves his difficult games. Oh my god, can you make it? Oh my god, that's difficult. Uh, oh. I, I gotta, like, angle around that. Alright, last try, and then we have to end the episode. Ah, shit. Whoop. <laughs> you forgot the key. Uh. 
<laughs> Alright, that's gotta be it. So, please, keep coming back to Instant Replay Live. Tell us your doo-doo stories. <laughs> Share with us. What's your top doo-doo story? <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.